right, so let's now actually take a look at how to send out emails using GetResponse. So there's a couple of different ways you can send out emails with uh, this software. So if you go to the menu on the top left, you see you have email marketing, autoresponders, and automation. Email marketing is basically just one-time emails, email newsletters, email broadcasts. Then you have autoresponders, which is like email sequences, and you have automation, which is like more complex email sequences that you can build uh, with a visual automation sequence builder. And we're going to start off with the email marketing. So how to send up, a, how to send out a one-time email. So click on email marketing right here, and then click on start or create newsletter. And then it will guide you through this uh, this creating of this new message. So first of all, let's give it a message. Let's say we have a new YouTube video, and uh, I'm going to send this out to my email subscribers. So let's say YouTube video email marketing. And then we can already link this to a list. So let's say this is linked to this specific list right here. And we have the from email address, which will dis be displayed as the from email, which is the default one that we have sent set up. Then you have to reply to email. So if you wanted to go to another email when they actually reply to this email, then you can change it right here. Um, then we have to give it a subject line. And obviously with email marketing, you always try to get people to click on your email. So you want to make it um, a bit clickbaity. So you want to make it uh, that people actually would want to know what's inside of your email. So I like to personalize my email. So what I do, I click on this button right here and then it opens up a couple of options. So when people give you their name as well, when they sign up to your email list, you can use their name in the subject line as well. So let's use a name right here. Then you have these brackets and name. So it will, for example, say Simon. Uh, Simon, um, I have big news. Something like that. And then recipients, you want to decide on who will actually receive this email. So click on add recipients. And here you can either just decide on what email list this email will go to, or um, if you have set up different segments, so you can set up segments by saying, okay, this segment um, is only people who have signed up through this landing page, or this segment is only people who have uh, the tag um, customer or the tag um, blog reader or something like that. And then you can decide on who will receive that specific email. Let's say I want to send it to this specific list right here and then click add. And you can just go through from top to bottom. And when it's like a green check mark right here, then you're finished with the segment. So it's pretty straightforward. Now the next part is actually designing and creating our email. So let's go ahead, click on design message right here. And then it opens up a lot of different templates that we can choose from to uh, to to create to design our email. So if you find something here that really fits what you want to send out, then just choose a template right here. And if you want to go from scratch, you can also click on blank templates, and then use a template like this, where there's already an image uh, right here, or you can just start from scratch. So I'm going to use this blank template right here, so you can understand how you can design emails. So now we are in the email um, builder right here, and the way this is set up is that you have different sections. So this blue uh, uh, blue square right here is a section, as you can see here. And so we have a header section and a content section and then a footer section. The footer section will always uh, display your address, your business address, um, unless you actually turn this off in the list settings. Uh, and then it will also have a unsubscribe link and a change your contact details link. So if people don't want to get your emails anymore, they just click here, unsubscribe, and then they can uh, opt out of your list. Or if they want to change their email address, they can just click on this link right here. The Powered by GetResponse um, logo, this will be removed once you actually choose a paid plan with GetResponse. But if you're on the t when you're on the trial, you will always see this uh, Powered by GetResponse uh, badge right here. So. Um, you can change this to your own logo if you want to. Um, I don't really use a header for my email. So what I do is I just um, turn this off right here on the right side, show logo, and also um, turn this off as well, show view online link, and then this header will disappear. And <clears throat> then you can start building out your email by going on the right side, click on layout right here. 
and then you can just drag in whatever you want to have in your email. So let's start out with a text block, just drag in the text block right here. And then let's say hi there or hi. Um, I'm not going to um, spend a lot of time creating this email, but just so you know how it works. Um, I have a new YouTube video. Check, check it out here. And what you can do is you can make this text also a link so you can highlight it. And then on the top here, you can click on the link icon. Then um, you can send them to a specific landing page, to a webinar, to an email address. Um, what I want to do it, I, I want to send them to a specific address, which is the YouTube video. So for example, this would be youtube.com forward slash blah, blah, blah. So I click insert and then this will become a hyperlink and people can click on it. You can also personalize your emails by clicking right here. So after hype, you want to have the name. So we click on this icon right here and then we just choose, let's say first name. And then it will say, hey, Peter, hey, Simon, and so on. So let's say we want to also have an image. So we go back to the layout and then we're going to drag in an image uh, right below our text. So let's browse this and let's say I want to add the thumbnail of the YouTube video that I want to send out to my subscribers. So let's choose this, click on add and then it will be uploaded in the library. You can use this and it will just be displayed in our email. One thing I want to say that be careful with adding too many images to your email because the more images you add, the more likely it will be that providers like Gmail and so on will mark your email as spam <clears throat> and then it will end up in the spam folder. So here you can also change the, the size. So on the right side, just decrease the size right here, uh, the width, the height, and make it look however you think it looks best. Um, then let's say I also want to add a button so I can just go to the li uh, layout uh, library as well again and then I'm going to drag in a button below here and I'm going to click on the element and I'm going to change the uh, settings here so I'm going to say click here to watch now I'm going to change maybe the color to a red and you can change all kinds of things on the right side menu. So whatever you need, just drag it in the canvas and then click on the element and then change all the settings on the right side. It's really learning by doing. And then once you have created your email, once it's finished, you can click on, you can go to the top here where it says test and preview. And then what I would do is I want, I would want to do a spam check. So click on spam check and then get response will check your email for trigger words that other providers have flagged as spam. So if you use a lot of words like free, uh, maybe financial independence, maybe discount or promotion or something like that, then GetResponse will notice that this email has a high potential of actually being uh, marked as spam. So if it says anything other than good to go here, then I would go back to your email and see if you can change something up um, uh, that will not mark your email as spam. And they will also give you suggestions right here. So here's where we found more images than text. Um, so as you, as you see, we should add a bit more text here and this is fine as well. Uh, okay. So once everything is good here, we can also send ourselves a test message. So if you go here, click on send test message, we can choose an email address. You want to send the test message to, so you can choose your own email, your Gmail, click on send test, and then they will send a this specific email that would go out to your subscribers to your own email and you can check out how it will look like for your subscriber which is pretty cool i usually do this and i check for any mistakes and then i go back here and then i change everything so i have the final version um cool so um that's pretty much it then once you have finished your email click on next on the top right and as you can see we have now finished our design and content then what you can do is also uh, turn on click tracking so you can see how many people actually clicked on your links. You can also use Google Analytics. Um, this is more advanced. And then you can decide on when you want to send that email out. So do you want to send it immediately or do you want to schedule it for later? So if you want to schedule it, you can just type in the date and the time here or you can send it immediately. Um, what I also uh, really like is this feature right here called perfect timing. So uh, what this does is uh, GetResponse will analyze uh, the behavior of your email subscribers 
and will notice when they are most likely to open your email. So when somebody always opens your email at like between 5 and 7 p.m., then it will make sure that it will they will send the email just before 5 and 7 p.m. so that the likelihood of them actually seeing the email will increase it's because it's higher in the inbox. So I And then it will be sent out within the next 24 hours at the best time that GetResponse believes to um, this email to be received. So click on perfect timing and then click on send message. And then this message is prepared to be sent out. You will always have this timer on the top here that if you s click on send message by accident, you can um, click on don't send it and then it will abort sending the message. So I don't want to send it actually, so I'm going to click on don't send. And that's basically how you can send out email newsletters, email broadcasts.